Mr. Scott Brown. We're here today because this is a critical moment for the future of our families, communities, and our country. I'm here to tell Scott Brown, listen to the people, and the tax cuts for the wealthy. Help create jobs. I'm here because Scott Brown's voting record is not appropriate for this state. He's, he's misrepresenting us as a people. It's time for our government to get serious about shared sacrifice. Yeah! yeah. Investing in our communities is not only the right thing to do, it is the most productive thing to do. Let me share three short personal stories. When my son was a student at Mass Maritime, he took advantage of federal Pell Grants in order to get through college. Today, he's a pilot for JetBlue, and he is paying a greater uh, percentage of his income in taxes than 38% of our largest corporations. Whoa. About 10 years ago, my daughter received a federal scholarship in return for several years bringing health care to an under-resourced area near an Indian reservation. And today, she's a licensed um, nurse practitioner serving the elderly outside Philadelphia. And for a local story a little closer to home, Last year, students uh, in 35 public uh, school classrooms in Attleboro, where I teach, kept their teachers because federal stimulus funds were there, funds that Scott Brown would have denied this state. This year, thanks to the sacrifice made by over 500 Attleboro teachers who gave up their raises and more, teachers will remain in these same classrooms. Yeah, to the teachers! When America invests in its people, the payback is increased productivity and pride in a nation that values all of its people. Scott Brown has to understand that we can't cut our way to educational competitiveness. Corporations and millionaires must be asked to contribute their fair share. Absolutely. Yeah. I beg the junior senator from Massachusetts not to take part in sabotaging this generation for a short-term gain. Mm. So far, he has voted with the interests of the wealthy. That's not an independent record, and it's certainly not a record for the people's seat. And All right. yeah. People! Education is a safe investment in Massachusetts. Our students rank number one in the nation. That's a good thing because Massachusetts economy depends on an educated workforce in key industries like biotechnology and biomedicine. Our schools and our colleges drive economic development in our state. Please invest in them. Thank you. My, this is my mom, Laura Krastowski. And she an educator too? She's not an educator, but she's um, paid into Social Security all her life. She's recently retired, and um, I asked her to come with me today because um, she's been carrying a lot of the sacrifice, just like my students. Um, Scott Brown is trying to balance his budget on two, two different groups, on children and on senior citizens, and I don't think it's fair. It's time we fund the public institutions that support who we would like to be. It's time for politicians to stop supporting the wealthy who get rich off the work of people like ourselves.